Hi guys, and welcome to another Ghost Recon video. And uh, in this video, I'd like to just do kind of a cinematic f uh, feel for Ghost Recon. Um, I haven't even replay one of the interesting features that we can look for. You can record every single game and actually review it for a post-action uh, examination or just for a cinematic feel. So I'll be doing some commentary throughout the video and just kind of highlighting <laughs> how awesome this recon is. Even after all these years. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is uh, Mission 2, or excuse me, Mission 1 from the expansion pack Island Thunder and I'm using a few mods uh, one of which is a fogless map mod uh, and it's awesome because it just removes the the fog layer I know what they were trying to go for when they made it but it, it reduces uh, the original missions reduce the draw distance or the visibility quite low so what would happen is enemies could see you quite clearly at the edge of that fog layer but you would not be able to pick out them clearly because they would just kind of fade into the mist. So uh, with this mod, it actually uh, makes the visibility uh, huge, and you can see from much greater distances. And you don't get that phenomenon where there's some AI somewhere in the fog, and he's shooting at you, and you just can't see him. Plus, it makes the, it makes the game look a lot crisper. And just kind of sharper because you don't have that big haze layer around. And you could kind of see the details of blades of grass and uh, leaves and everything, and it just makes it look really cool. Alright, so I got two teams operating here uh, Alpha and Bravo. Bravo, as always, is my M60 gunner, or any type of support uh, gunner. Oh, it looks like we got some guy right there. Sniper took him out. And I'm also using the Navy SEAL version 2.0 mod. So you can see I got the M14 there, as well as the SOCOM. Alright, let's move over to Alpha Team. Check out this cool slow motion. Mag, mag reload. That's part of the replay. It. If you just hit the plus and minus keys, you can actually change the speed of the replay, and it creates some pretty awesome cinematic moments. I really love the way uh, Ghost Recon, the way they move, and you'll see some side strafing, and uh, we'll be, you know, pieing some corners, and it really is remarkable how simplistic this title is, and yet how immersive and awesome they just really got this title right. And uh, I'm thinking about bringing it to our uh, to the Wolfpack as a full time. Uh, tactical shooter um, outside of Arma. And I love Arma for all it's worth, but it is incredibly clunky and just, you know, the menus are really, really tough. Get full speed here. It's hard to get activated, also, has some performance issues as well. So in this mission, we're actually engaging a uh, a drug cartel. This, this entire expansion pack takes place in Cuba. And uh, actually, I don't, know, I don't know if the cartel is the right word. Probably entire uh, regimen.
Here's Bravo coming up to support. And I do love the traditional SEAL team weapons. around the base of fire, which is Bravo here. These guys just look awesome. got this barn that we got to clear so a little bit of CQB here we'll kind of maneuver uh, we got some house clearing and Bravo's just kind of standing by for uh, for overwatch Here's Bravo team. I'm just setting them up to kind of get eyes on that warehouse in the hill in case any uh, any tangos want to sneak up over there and ambush us. Following your lead. And Alpha's just kind of being real careful around these buildings. Lomo. So this guy, this is the AI actually, turns the coin. Horrible way to enter a room, but... Alright, so we see the first plantation here. Get Alpha just holding his overwatch here. Again, some room clearing of the small, tiny house. And I do use a joystick. I use the uh, Logitech rumble pad. Um, I just find you get 
really good accuracy with movement, being able to pie corners and, and just do everything smoothly with the twin uh, joy pads. Um, you know, guys can fare pretty good with, with mouse and keyboard, and, and actually mouse is probably the ideal form of aiming. Uh, but a joypad, right I think, is just you. a lot more comfortable. It puts everything at your fingertips. Just my preference. All right, so now we're moving up and thinking about assaulting that warehouse. We're just being careful around these buildings. bounding up now. There's Alpha set. And you can see we're going to assault that uh, that warehouse there where the first package of drugs are. Contact in the warehouse, so we're just salting that. feature. <laughs> Looks really cool from a third person perspective. Bravo just on Overwatch. Alright, so we got that first package secure. Now it's just going to hold here and wait for Bravo to catch up. 